What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Timster. Today, we're talking about how AI is implementing and helping virtual reality evolve. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So meta AI research shows that Quest body pose estimation helped by furniture awareness. Now, this is just kind of that body pose estimation and how like AI would predict how we're going to be acting around furniture and everything else. Obviously, this will probably involve maybe some pass through. I definitely know that this will eventually get to a point to where it's just on a standalone platform altogether. Now, I'm thinking this could happen pretty soon as soon as like a quest three so what's really cool about this is that ai obviously already helps out a lot of stuff chat gpt style but this helps out majorly in virtual reality and it's something that's not talked about enough this is being able to predict all your movements and what you're doing to the best of its knowledge ai style now now by no means is ai gonna be able to replace us as humans like immediately but there's definitely a lot of things that ai is doing that is pretty firm and i i love it i i utilize it to help me out with some business endeavors some of my work especially when it comes down to writing ai can help y'all give you ideas on youtube titles and everything with virtual reality what's really been happening now in terms of help is that meta researchers show an update of their ai powered body pose estimation and the current vr systems only track the position of your heads and hands the position of your elbows torso and legs can be estimated using a class of algorithms called inverse kinematics so that although there is like smartphones that could also help with tracking these are still containing a lot of stuff including like sensors and you especially need a pc for all of that but what about we can actually get to a point where it's a standalone so this is where it really blows my mind right here because it talks about so there's a thing called quest invisum researchers are showing an updated model from quest sim and using the same reinforcement learning approach that takes into account furniture and other objects in your environment so they're already preparing for mixed reality environment and just how things would really just, just to give you a full body tracking without actually needing additional equipment so it shows right here that the results are impressive it don't really expect it to run on a quest 2 definitely because quest 2 is already towards the back end of its time but it could definitely run on a quest 3 knowing that the system could eventually be optimized seeing full body motion in other people's avatars their main vision is being able to have legs that look natural to somebody who know how your real legs are actually positioned but probably when you look at your own legs you'll continue to see nothing what i feel when when you're watching this a lot of it you can see predicting the ai predicting how you would act along with it now you can see that they are attached to a quest 2 in the video and they're utilizing a pc vr essential but what they're doing with this is maybe with pass through ai is predicting how you're going to move along with that censorship and i think that that's very huge with this app and showing how a human body does react now they're just doing it to the best predictability and how i like how they slouch and the knees are coming up and just everything that is really just happy it's right like even when you're almost falling off a chair even when you're doing stuff it predicts all the natural habits of everything and i and i feel that's something we do need just to help us feel more immersive at an affordable cost i think quest 3 possibly being able to do this would be nice especially since they're pushing augmented reality and mixed reality those two features alone help with being able to bring actual physical objects and being able to to cast it and show other people how everything is going down so i feel that the new era of body tracking has arrived with this i believe that doing this can help with evolving i mean there's a lot of apps that can really really do things especially like fighting games you know fighting games would look real cool with maybe your avatar doing the full full body so that if you want to practice kicks like i love kickboxing and martial arts so to be able to do that that would be something that is really cool fitness i feel would evolve at the highest level if you could see your avatar really gaining in on that kind of like how like just dance would be but like just dance on steroids you know how just dance kind of would you you would mark your sensors and especially with the wii controllers or whatever other type of controllers like the, on the connect when it when, when you wouldn't need any equipment on the xbox connect but it'll be like all of that on steroids and i believe if we can get full body that immersion helps out a lot more versus having to buy additional accessories right the, the main goal for virtual reality now is not buy additional accessories so this is pretty cool i think it's something that we should really look into as far as the immersion we always need immersion and i feel that this is definitely something that we could look into that can possibly be the best opportunity for standalone utilizers especially in your traditional typical games that are mainstreamed by standalone games like beat saber or any type of like synth riders or just any games or that are fighting or boxing games or fitness games i think those are really do it and then next definitely focusing in on like fighting games and experiences and just overall just social interaction right vr chat would be probably the best one 
also. So these are just things that I would feel that I hope they are utilizing, not just with PC VR, but just as a standalone soon. So y'all got to let me know what's up. This is a next level technology with AI and also just body pose estimation where it really doesn't utilize the fact of uh, all these sensors and equipment and stuff, but it still takes a PC right now to get into it, to the, to create it, obviously. But we're, we're thinking the finishing product is definitely going to be on a standalone. Y'all let me know what's up, man. I appreciate y'all. Peace.